The question you may ask me, shall I still pray when I have nothing to pray about? Yes, you should. I know for myself, many of the time when I run out of things to pray about, I just say, I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. Sometimes I say that for like 10 or 20 minutes straight, or maybe longer than that. I know for a fact, perhaps five or 10 minutes straight, I know that. You see, prayer is not so much about the words. Prayer is about spending time with God. So when you see things in that way, it really doesn't matter what you say to God as long as you are spending time with God just speaking to him. Does that make any sense? So now you can pray longer for, now you can pray longer than five minutes or 10 minutes or whatever else. I know for myself, I have not been doing it quite often, but I get down on my knees and I bow my head or whatever else and I meditate on God while saying, I thank you, Jesus, I thank you, Jesus, or I say something else. But I don't say different things throughout the whole time I am praying, no. Especially when you start to pray for an hour, two hours, three hours, and more. Like, <laughs> how can you possibly find things to pray about when you pray that long. So of course, you are going to be saying the same things over and over again. It is not about just saying words, it's meaning what you say, but you want to spend time with God. So prayer is more about spending time with God than, actual, than actually talking. Does that make any sense? So, to believe that you have to say different things every time when you pray, that is a wrong way to think. Does that make any sense? Now, also what you should do, you should pray for other people. Don't be selfish and only pray for yourself. Pray for other people. Pray for your mother. Hold on. You can pray for your mom, dad, cousin, aunt, uncle, friends, co-workers, nieces and nephews and so on and so on. Pray for more than just yourself. I know for myself, I pray more for people than I do for myself. <laughs> I pray for my angels. Talk to God. Spend time with Him. That is what He wants. Sometimes I be so tired when I begin to pray. And a person may say, well, what is the point of praying if you are going to fall asleep? That's the whole point. You may be getting tested. I know for myself, I was getting tested. Like every time when I wanted to pray, I would feel so tired. But when I would watch TV, I was not really tired, but when I would pray, I would really get tired. So I told myself, look, even if I am tired and go to sleep while I'm praying, I am going to pray. So I continued to do that over and over again. Now, when I pray now, not every time, but when I pray now, I don't get so tired. So. What I see that as, I saw that, or I see that as a test. It was a test to see if I was still going to pray even when I felt tired. Even if it was an artificial, artificial tiredness, if that makes any sense. <laughs> tired. <laughs> even if I was being tested in that way. So I really hope this makes sense. God wants to spend time with you. So, 
do whatever you have to do to concentrate on God. Even if you have to go in your room, shut the door, put on some Christian music, turn off your phone, so on and so on, do it. Because I am telling you that I know for myself, when I am being tempted by certain things and stuff like that, and I know that I have not been praying as much as I should, I get down and pray and those temptations that I was having, it decreases. So you can pray to decrease your temptations. Does that make any sense? I really hope so. God bless.